In today's episode we will be researching and building this Joule Mega Explorer which we will be launching in the Kerbin orbit while it waits for its transfer window, as always. And on a completely unrelated note, we're gonna be researching the actuators. Yes, I will need them, maybe not right now, but I will definitely need them. Okay, so let's hit it, time to warp so it completes and let me hit that upgrade point. I really want to up my research tempo, so we're gonna put it at a whopping 8.5 per day. So, onwards to the building of the Explorer. Now, this one will be also something similar to what you've seen with my Duna Explorers, except with the fact that it needs to be completely new tech, because uh, around Joule there is no um, sunlight very much. Joule is very far out, so that means we will need to more rely on the different technology. Also, I'm adding a lot of experiments and uh, so this craft will be deploying a lot of small experiments, which will also dub as small, you know, relays, but will be able to actually visit Jules' moons. Now, my goal is that each of these craft should have roughly of 1.8 thousand meters per second with full load, so that they could reach various moons, like, I don't know, uh, Europa, uh, Tylo, etc, etc. Uh, Val, Paul, Bob, whatever. So, I'm jam-packing it with experiments, so set Julian science probe. So those are actually small probes and they should basically do nothing more. I'm gonna cram them with a lot of fuel, so that's the plan. 2000 meters per second delta V, that's awesome, but I need more engines because thrust to weight 0 0.32 is just not applicable. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go with 3 or 4, uh, maybe we go with 4, that's 1.19 thrust to weight, I think that's good enough. Let's place them, good. So, 4 thrusters and thrusters, and then we get these a lot of experiments and uh, delta V is 1.7 thousand meters per second, I think that's perfectly plausible. Right, all right, we're gonna put those like a satellite, Joule, science satellite probe, there we go, science exploration probe, that's for Joule. Right, so now we have gotta build the main craft that will be launching it, which will also dub as a relay. So here we're gonna be putting this uh, bigger probe, and then I'm gonna be making it, let's take first actually this Gigan. We're, we're gonna take Gigan, and then on top of it we're gonna place this, then we're gonna be placing these uh, adapters. I'm actually thinking, yeah, batteries, look at them. I placed two big ones. You never know when you're gonna need them. All right, so then I'm gonna be placing some sort of adapters. I really want some adapters. Okay, reaction wheels. I'm actually looking for maybe medium ones. Let me see, um, I will need these relays, the big ones that ra range roughly 200 gigameters. And then I'm just kind of experiencing. Okay, and then I'm gonna be placing these adapters because on these adapters I will be definitely placing something. I just need to find a little bit more, well, better adapter level. Oh no, that's the, well, yeah, that could work, but it doesn't look nice. I'm looking some sort of more like, you know, handy, nice, nice looking adapter that would actually make like this, somebody was planning this with half a brain. Okay, there we go, yeah. Okay, reaction wheels, good. Then the adapter, yes, no. Uh, I'm gonna be taking, oh, there we go, now we're talking. Okay, this guy, look at it. Now it looks like, yeah, as I said, somebody with half a brain actually did this, good. Then I'm gonna be putting like one on top, so four probes on the sides and one on top, so what do we do? We put one on top and four on the sides. They're identical, so I really don't need more than that. Good. And uh, that will be covering Jules' moons. So then I will need uh, an actual... Let's put two more batteries, because we can, obviously. And I'm thinking of putting, like, two of these big antennas. So one would be targeting uh, probably the active craft, while another one would be targeting Kerbin. Something like that. Oh, look at it. It actually looks quite nice. All right, good. Looks good enough. Okay, let's see what we can do here. So we're gonna be placing a couple more batteries because well, obviously we can. I'm gonna be placing a large antenna here 
Jewel Probe Explorer Launcher. There we go. Okay, I mean, that's, that alone is actually... Let's place more antennas here, because each of these antennas will be connecting with one antenna on this small, uh, you know, probe craft. Then we're going to be placing the RTG, which are the radio is isotope nu thermonuclear generators. Ooh, I managed to set that without my tongue twisting. Hmm, nice. We're going to be putting these Gigantor solar panels for backup power. Yes, who says that I'm not over-engineering this to great bits? Yeah. Okay, thermal control system. Yeah, oh, we don't need all four. We just need the two. Okay. And then... I want to be placing, I just wanted to move this a little bit. Okay, one, two, and uh, yeah, right. Okay, so that's handy. Now, if we go here, we're gonna be adding then uh, the reaction wheels. <clears throat> we do need a lot of reaction wheels power to keep this craft stable. Then I'm going to be placing a little bit different engines. I'm actually thinking of going with something like these and maybe with a Hecati engine. I don't know. Looks doable. 0 0.36. Well, that's not great, is it? I would like something more with more oomph. So what do we have? Poodle? No, that one doesn't actually fit this tank. Maybe I could change the fuel. Maybe not. What about this one? Vesuvius. Oh, now you're talking. Okay, that looks good. Shall I be putting two then? 3,380. Okay, that that I can live with. Now, now we're on to something. Okay. Let's put the fairing. Fairing is going to be pretty big. So we'll, yeah. Okay, come on. Clam it. Clam it. Clam it. And there we go. Beautiful. Right, clamshell deploys four pieces. That makes actually sense. And that is the stage that would be going to Jewel and probably breaking around Jewel. So 3087. Okay. It will not be the one that will be ejecting to Jewel. That's for sure. Now, let's design the stage that actually will be ejecting to Jewel. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't have the shroud? Oh, boy. Okay, that just... Well, we have to fix that, obviously. So we're gonna do with... Uh... Don't I have the thrust plate? No, I don't. Okay, so I don't have the thrust plate. We're gonna do it like that. That's better, right? Yeah, that can work. All right, then I need a transfer stage or eject stage. And that to me looks good enough, I would say. Rokomax Jumbo Tank. Do I go with like this one? Big Bagora. Okay. Yeah. So that will be the stage that will be actually ejecting us out of uh, Kerbin and which will be completing the, completing the circularization of Kerbin. Then we're going to put two Ghidorah tanks, which are, you know, these huge rocket tanks. There we go. Okay. Let me put the engine here put it a little bit upwards and we're gonna be duplicating those we're gonna put the symmetry on hold on I just want to make sure that okay there we go then we put two of the these engines good see now we're talking let's transfer the fuel and let's correct our staging that puts us at 8.7 thousand meters per second yeah it's just to get the jewel we don't need to get back uh, the other craft will have the capability to go further so yeah all in all i think that will be good enough i would say all right let's make sure we strut everything where is my launcher platform there we go we adapt it to be Ghidorah heavy good and then we correct our staging and after that it looks like even more miserable which is fine and there we go let's do the simulation let's see what could possibly go wrong and by the way guys you've asked me how do i do this so i really wanted to show you camera tools point towards the craft okay then you turn your angle and you open the erector usually i have this locked on the um i have this locked on the action group then i press home button which would switch to this perspective 
And if you're curious about which settings I'm using, do check uh, freeze that frame from before. And then I press the launch. So when the craft starts ascending, there you go. Once again, I press home to switch to another stationary flyby camera. And after we're done, I press end and uh, then bring back the UI and that's it. So for uh, my commenter who asked me how I'm doing this, this is the way. Okay, let's test staging, ditching the boosters. How much will we have after the completion? We will have 5,014 meters per second to get to Jewel. I think that's enough. All right. And after we deploy, it's around 5.3 thousand. So let's try staging here. That looks okay. Let's decouple one of the satellites. And um, here we encounter the first problem. I don't have a reaction wheels on it. Meaning I can't steer. I have the re remote and everything and I can actually use it. The problem is that I cannot steer. Can I stage the engine? Let's try it. Oh, yeah, it works, it works. Okay, break, break, break. Uh, oops. Okay. Yes. That being said, <laughs> let's get back to building. So what I need, I need to basically action group this and inside I need to make sure that I've added the, I need to make sure that I have added these small guys. So gyroscopes, there we go. And on another side, okay, that fixes our rocket, beautiful. So let's queue it up and I want to fix my staging by a little bit, save it and let's queue it for the launch. There we go, some time passed, quite a while actually, and we managed to get some science for it, but it's time to roll out it to the launch pad and we're ready, good. So, press the launch and let's see, opening up the erector, see, engine start and up we go. There we go. And the reason why we're asking how, why it's so fluid, of course, it's because it's in two times time acceleration. I don't want to waste your time. So there we go. Okay. Making sure that we are ascending quite fast, making sure that everything is peachy. T t keeping a little bit more steeper trajectory. I want to get out of the atmosphere as soon as possible. Time to pitch down while I'm keeping my thrust to weight around 1.8. This time I'm going to go for the apoapsis. I think it's going to be 105 or 103, maybe something like that. So that we don't collide with a lot of craft that we have parked there in orbit. Burning for the apoapsis. That leaves us 750 meters of fuel. Okay. 80 kilometers per Oh, sorry. Apoapsis. 90. 103. Yeah, we'll keep it at 103. Then let's focus on circularization maneuver. All right, beautiful. Okay, so once we're done with that, then we're gonna finalize everything and I will be making sure that we point the rocket maneuver prograde. And once it stabilizes, I will ditch the fairing and then I think we'll just need to wait for the transfer window. So yeah, there we go. Okay, get ready. Ditch the fairing. Oh, this is a beautiful separation if I ever knew one. All right, there we go. The burn is coming in 20 seconds. With a little bit of time warp, it starts now. Beautiful. Okay, getting rid of the boosters. Stage set. Beautiful. And we'll manage to not only circularize on this, but probably have entirety of the fuel that will need us to eject us to Jewel. Like I said, I like my crafts well over engineered, yes. Alright, so that being said, um, no problem. So let's see. We have, uh, let's rename this to, uh, we're gonna call this Probe Jewel Mega Explorer. And we're gonna set it to Probe. Beautiful, accept, everything is fine. And I think we need to now start waiting for our transfer window. So let's put the transfer window to Jewel, all right. 
and create the maneuver node and that's it beautiful so the maneuver node will be in 196 days let's add a maneuver node here there we go beautiful and let's just enjoy how beautiful this craft looks uh, while we wait for that window transfer to happen but that will be coming in one of our future episodes of course might as well extend the radiator and on the top right corner the, the algorithm is suggesting you or my avatar is suggesting you a ksp video that you should definitely check out thanks for watching and i'll see you there